I now recognize the distinguished delegate of Palestine to be followed by the distinguished delegate of China. Sayyid uh, al-Rais. Mr. President, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, may I first commence by uh, thanking Dr. Margaret Chan and her regional office in Cairo and uh, the regional office in Jerusalem, uh, the capital of Palestine. The health situation in Palestine in the year 2017 is not much different from the years before. The Israeli occupation continues be the main obstacle faced by the political health Palestinian health system where the territories have been dissected as well as the division by an apartheid hall and the segregation of more than 300,000 Palestinian the continued unabated settlement activity in the heart of Palestine the recurrent attack by settlers particularly in East Jerusalem and what is called area C as well as the continued violation of uh, the rights of Palestinians. However, in spite of all what has said, the health indications in Palestine continue to be the best in the region. Regarding the uh, detainees, the torture uh, has uh, reached more than uh, 400 percent in 2014. More than 1,500 uh, detainees have uh, declared an open-ended hunger strike calling upon the Israeli authorities to improve the conditions of their detentions, to grant them their right to health services and health care, to visitation rights, and to bring a halt to administrative detention and the enjoyment of their rights as political prisoners. The Ministry of Health in Palestine calls upon the World Health Organization's General Assembly and the international community in general the following. Firstly, to bring pressure to bear on Israel to lift the siege and blockade imposed on the totality of the Palestinian territories, including occupied Jerusalem and the Gaza Strip. Secondly, cease all settlement activity and cease attacks by settlers, both by which have severe mental, psychological, and physical effects on Palestinian people. Thirdly, cease obstructing the mobility of uh, uh, medical teams to respect the sanctity of hospitals and health centers to abide their commitments by the rule of law and human rights and the rights of the child. Fourthly, to compel Israel to accept the demands of the detainees for a humanitarian treatment as stipulated for by the International Legal Instruments and the Fourth Geneva Convention, to put an end to administrative detention and to cease force-feeding the prisoners who are on hunger strikes. Fifthly, bring an end to the occupation, support the resilience of the Palestinian health system by technical financial resources to respond to the health needs of the Palestinian people. Thank you, sir.